Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back on this lovely Saturday morning, and it is time for another war episode, except this time, we are going all out guys, we are going to get our first 6 star clan war that we've got in a very long time, hopefully on the number 1, and of course the number 2 player on the opponent's team. So basically, we're using the most common troop inside of the game, I'm sure you all know what it is, check it out, who can guess what troop it is, who can guess what troop it is that we are using, yeah of course it is the bowlers guys, so we're basically... Gonna be going in for a life attack very shortly. We have already triple starred the number one player, guys. The Town Hall 11 has been triple starred. Hopefully, we're gonna triple star the actual, uh, that Town Hall 10 as well. Let me just show you the base, guys. So, we've already three starred this. We will show you the replay in a few seconds' time. Damn, I just realized. Is this guy's base completely maxed out? Well, apart from the cannons, I think everything's maxed out, guys. Oh, no, apart from the cannons and the mortars. Damn, I'm proud of myself. So we'll show you that replay in a few moments time. Just before we do though, I think we may go in for the live attack first. Or no, we'll do that at the end actually. We'll do that at the end. So currently it is 69 war stars. Strange number to be on. 69 war stars against 87. Now no one has attacked me. No one ever seems to attack me inside a war. I don't know why. But we are hopefully gonna bring this war home guys. They have used uh, 16 attacks more than us. I can grab two stars on that, that's going to take us to 71, meaning we are 16, uh, 16 stars behind and 15 attacks behind. So hopefully, if we can average out one and a half stars per attack, then we should win this war. So you know what, let's just start this off guys, we're going to show you the uh, the replay on the Town Hall 11 base, so let's check it out, check it out. So, so if you've made it this far into the episode guys, we are about to check out the replay on of course their number one play, which we just done. And you know what, this, this bowler troop, the bowler is literally one of the, uh, I think it's probably the greatest troop that's ever been invented inside of this game. I'm not even gonna lie. If you love the bowlers, go down below and comment hashtag I love bowlers, guys. Literally, I love bowlers. They are definitely my favorite troop that's ever been made inside of this game. And it's incredible because when they were first released, I hated them. They were so bad. But ever since the, uh, the Supercell done the buff on them, they are so damn incredible. They can triple star pretty much maxed out Town Hall 11s. Bear in mind, I don't even have max heroes, guys. And yeah, these bowlers are just so damn OP. They are so strong when you use them correctly with healers. When you uh, use the free spells at the right moment in time. When you use the rage spells. When you use the Grand Warden's ability correctly. The bowlers are just so damn OP. And they can just wreck bases so quickly. Check it out. What other troop destroys bases this quickly? Apart from the Valkyrie. But the bad thing about the Valkyrie is... It just kind of takes a long time to obviously, you know, break through the walls and it gets wrecked whilst it's breaking through the walls. So that's the great thing about the bowler, obviously. They do have some firepower. So check it out. Look, we've pretty much destroyed this base, guys. We've literally wrecked it. Now, the good thing about this, obviously, we do have a couple of healers. We've still got the Queen's ability to use. Now, it was a very close triple star. I'm not going to lie and say it was easy because, to be honest with you, I did try and get a three star, but I'm not sure if I really expected to actually achieve it. Now, we just about clutched it. The Queen... Is going to get hit by a big bomb very shortly. And I believe she almost died. So it was pretty damn close. Lucky we still had her ability to use. If I'd used it a little bit earlier. Then we would have found ourselves in a lot of trouble. So that cannon is pretty much taking out my queen. There goes the big bomb. I held it off. Then popped her ability. She's going to take out the cannon. And there is only one defense left in this entire map guys. The queen's going to take out that gold collector. Go onto the elixir collector. Go onto the barracks. Take out the gold storage. Still got quite a few archers there. And of course. The, is that two healers? Is that two or three? Yeah, two healers there, guys. So those level four healers, making sure that level 26 queen is on max health by the time she hits the cannon. The cannon actually getting distracted by those little archers, which is great. They are the perfect distraction. The queen going to take out the army camp and then, of course, move on to that final defense inside of this map, guys. And that's going to secure me the triple star. So she's going to go onto the dark barracks, take out that gold collector. And then, of course, the queen being the queen decides to go for the wall instead of just literally walking three steps. She goes for the wall instead. Lucky enough, though, we did have a little bit of time remaining. And, of course, she's going to take out that elixir collector. And there it is, guys. The triple star on the number one player inside a wall. Hashtag I love bowlers in that comment section down below. I want to see at least, at least six comments saying I love bowlers. So there it is, guys. The first triple star of the episode. So, of course, it's time to get ourselves into the second attack. So we don't need to gem anything. I think we've got our entire army ready. Speaking of gems, guys, if you do want to win 
$250 for the 600,000 subscriber giveaway. Do not forget to leave a like on this episode to show some support to the channel. Let's go for 69 likes because we've got 69 stars. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. There is a link in the description box, guys. Hit the link and hit enter and you will be entered into the 600,000 giveaway. So check it out. This is the second base we are about to attack. Now I've got a feeling I've triple starred the Town Hall 11. I've got a feeling we're going to fail against this base because it's live. And I don't really like live attacks. But you know what? Should we go for it? What have we got? Hold on, guys. Have we even got a clan castle? Let me check. Have we even got a CC? No, we haven't. What is going on? Why is no one giving me any troops? So now we're going to have to wait, guys. Anyone got a golem, please? We need a golem. So there we go. Oh, there we go. We just received one. Thank you, Modstep. Shout out to Modstep. So thank you. Thank you, Mod. So here we go, guys. We are about to get ourselves into this uh, into this live attack. Hopefully we don't fail. If we fail, then I'm just going to shut it down straight away. And it will be the end of the episode. And I will run in front of a car. But here we go. Going to scout the base. Just to, well, I think we just scouted it. But check it out, guys. That is what the base looks like. We're going to uh, drop the earthquake spells over. We're going to drop them here where this wall is. Because hopefully if we drop them there, send in the bowlers. Then the bowlers are going to bowl the town hall. And the splash damage should take out that inferno tower. And of course, the Inferno Towers are the things we want to watch out for. So we should have nine Harry Potters. That is enough to take out the Clan Castle. I think they've got dragons inside of there. We've got six Wall Breakers. Let's do this. So please, guys, if you've made it this far into the episode, go down below in that comment section and comment, comment, Tony, good luck. I love you. Peace be with you. I give you my full support. May Harry Potter be with you. Just, just go down below there and say, say, Tony, good luck. Just Tony, good luck. So here we go, guys. Confirm the attack. There go the earthquake spells. We can do this. I can do this. I can do. I believe in myself. I really do believe that I'm going to get so messed up inside of this raid. It's going to be so embarrassing. But you know what? It's all for the episode, guys. So here, we, why is there a balloon inside of there? Who gave me a balloon? We've got a balloon inside of our army. So we're going to drop down the Grand Warden and, of course, those bowlers, guys. Here we go. Bowler trouble. There go the healers. There go the king. There goes everything, guys. So. We're going to use the Grand Warden's ability very early. There goes the uh, the Rage spell. We're going to drop down the Free spell. We dropped it down by accident on the first Inferno Tower. No. Going to have to drop down this Heal spell. Keep these bowlers alive. Wow, that was close. Bowlers almost got destroyed by the dragon there. But hopefully we can do this now. So the, the king? The king's dead. We lost the king, guys. We lost the king. Big Bomb goes off. Where are the healers? The healers are following a few bowlers around the other side of the base. But it's okay. So far, it's not looking too good, is it? Is it looking good or not? I can't really tell, guys. The queen's still alive. Still got her ability to use the golems tanking on the left-hand side. Why are you going for the wall? So the queen's been a typical queen, guys. She's going for the wall. Now, we do need to keep her ability. Hopefully, these bowlers aren't going to die and the golem starts to tank. But the golem's been a little bit of a little bit of a... Just a weirdo. Why is he doing that? Golem, why are you doing that? So the, uh, the bowlers... Are taking out that cannon with a splash damage. That was very lucky because we did need that to happen. We're up to 70% so far. Hopefully all the bowlers can get uh, revived. Back to full health now. The healer is healing the golem when it doesn't need healed. Here we go. On to the queen. That's just secured us to triple star, guys. It's going to be impossible for us not to three star this base now. As long as at least one of those healers stays on the queen. Then it should be a decent attack. One minute and 17 seconds left inside of this raid. Let's see if we can do it. The queen, the bowler, sorry, doing some more splash damage. Taking out that archer tower. That's why I love you. I love you, bowlers. I literally love you. So the queen's still alive, of course, on max health. Her ability to use one final defense inside of the battle once again. This is like deja vu. There's another cannon alive and loads of buildings around it. But of course, we're going to do it. So as I was saying, guys, if you are new to the channel and you've never seen this before, my name is, of course, General Tony. And we do uh, we do COC and Clash Royale videos every single day on this channel and the occasional Pokemon Go episode. Right now, Pokemon Go is kind of a hot thing, but I, I don't really... I don't really enjoy it as much as I like COC and Clash Royale, so we may not do that for too much longer. But as I was saying, we are giving away $250, the final percentage point, there it is. We are giving away $250, and if you want the chance to win iTunes, Android, and PayPal, leave a like, subscribe, and enter the raffle giveaway. So there it is, guys, two triple stars. Damn!
So Tony has officially come back from the dead, guys. I haven't got two triple stars inside of war in such a long time. Obviously, I'm always the one who has to attack the higher bases, and usually they are they kind of destroy me. But yeah, the bowlers, the bowlers are definitely doing it for me. Let me know down below in that comment section, by the way. I know I've asked you a lot in this episode to do this, but let me know what is your current favorite troop inside of the game. Mine's the bowlers, obviously. Hashtag I love bowlers. And uh, yeah, let me know what yours is down below. I will see you very shortly in a few hours time for a second episode, guys. This has been war. Has anyone attacked my base yet? No one's attacked me. I wanted to show you someone attacking me, but no one's taken me on. They've attacked Andy, and that's about it. So I will see you very shortly in a few hours time. Have a great day, guys. Love you all. Peace out.